Hey folks, this is Damien from Southpaw Designs, and today we're going to take a little bit of a deeper dive into the different types of bits that you'll commonly use in your CNC work. The four main types of bits that I've used myself are the upcut bit, a downcut bit, a variety of V bits, as well as a surfacing bit, which I've actually recently got in, so we're going to test it out today and see how it works. So stick around, watch the video, and notice all the differences that you'll find. And before we go any further, I just want to say thank you. Uh, I launched this channel a little over a month ago, and in less than a month, I've gotten my first 500 subscribers actually on Friday. Today, I crossed over 640, and that's something that I never thought that I would do in one month's time. So to celebrate, I had a little fun. Now, YouTube doesn't really think you're special enough for a plaque until you get 10,000 subscribers. But for me, 500 was a big deal, so I decided to go ahead and use a little creativity and have a little fun and slap together a simple plaque that will be updated with every new video that I post until I get to 10,000. The downcut bit is going to push the fibers down into the pocket or the contour that's being cut. So it's going to do a good job of having a clean cut on the upper part of your material as you'll see right here but the bottom part of the material that's being cut out is going to be a little bit more rough next we have an upcut bit the upcut bit is actually going to cut and pull the material up so you're going to get a better bottom cut on the bottom of your your cutout so this type of a bit is better used for cutting pockets. Now on the downside though, you're going to have a rougher top of your cut because of the fact that it's pulling material up. So an upcut bit is great for hogging out material, but not really great for contours. Next we have our V bits. This 20 degree V bit is going to give you a very precise cut and is great for engraving. It actually cuts at an angle, which is hard to see with this small cut that's being made. And here you can see the 60 degree V bit. Now that 60 degree is going to be much wider, so you're going to be able to create larger letters and engravings with it. But again, you really can't see that here because we're doing a small cut. And finally, we have the surfacing bit. The surfacing bit is really good for clearing out a lot of material and is commonly used to flatten or to surface a piece of wood. And before we go any further, um, I have placed links within the description to some other CNC related videos that you might want to check out. And then also all the products that I'm using are linked down in the description. Now, I am an Amazon affiliate, and so any purchases that you make through those links, I will get a small cut of that. They don't cost you anything extra, but it's a way to support the channel, and I would greatly appreciate it. So here we see the results of our test. Okay, you'll notice a couple of things here. In fact, a couple of happy accidents that I had not anticipated. With the upcut bit, when we're running along the surface of the grain, you'll notice that the cut's actually pretty clean. When we get up here to the top and bottom edges, that's when we saw the burrs. When we run across the grain, you'll see there's quite a few burrs and we would have to clean that up. That's because the upcut bit pulls the fibers up to try to remove them. The downcut bit pushes the fibers down. So you get a much smoother top surface, but you're gonna get a rougher bottom surface. Next, we have the 20 degree engraving bit. And this one creates a fine line, and it's really good for detail. Now, the 60-degree engraving bit creates a much bigger path, and we're really not deep enough to see the engraving, but it actually cuts at an angle. Okay. Then we move over to our surfacing bit, and here's where the happy accident came in. This is actually the first time that I, I'd used this bit. Uh, I bought it just so that I could have it and I could experiment with it. But what you saw when we were cutting is that the um, uh, it actually burnt 
on this end and this end. Well, that's because when it stopped, it burnt into the material right there. So before I actually use this bit in a real project, I'm going to have to research and figure out all the speeds and feeds uh, so that I can prevent that from happening. Now, before we go, what I'd like for you to do is go down in the comments section and leave a comment. And let me know what type of content you would like to see. What questions do you have? Uh, what software would you like to see featured? Uh, what tools would you like to see featured? It seems that uh, based on the success of my channel that the CNC related content is uh, what most people are coming for. So I'll probably focus more of my attention on that and not quite as much on conventional woodworking, but that's really up to you. Tell me what you would like to see in the comments below. And once again, please take a moment to subscribe because that really, um, that really shows me that you're engaged and it shows YouTube that you're engaged as well. Thank you and have a great day.